Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 11th week of Drossom. The every week prompt motivated drawing show. Basically, that's basically what it is. So, uh, this week we are going to be drawing fire hydrants. <laughs> Oh, don't even ask me what I was thinking when I came up with that one. So, <laughs> I'm going to use a purple pencil this week because it seems to show up a little better on the camera than a regular graphite. So, I'm going to use this. So, it, it doesn't erase very well, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? So, fire hydrants. I do believe the fire hydrants are... Now, there are so many different types. I didn't know there were so many different types of fire hydrants until I started looking for pictures. Um, I googled fire hydrant and came up with, like, just hundreds of pictures of fire hydrants. So, I'm just... First, I'm going to just draw a basic one out. And, uh... They're, they're interesting, to say the least, because they pretty much will incorporate everything that we've learned up until now. The perspective and, and how to shade things, make them look round, and, and just the whole thing. So, we're going to go ahead and jump right in here. And, uh, yeah, see if we can't draw a decent fire hydrant. <laughs> it's going to be interesting, to say the very least. And we're going to just have to kind of wing it here, but we, we already know, you know, how their, their basic shape is. So, we are just gonna, and it, oh, that's right, they have these things in their little roofs. Now, I've seen on TV before where people have, like, uh, if you live in the city, the fire department will come over and, uh, basically turn them on for the kids in the summertime which I think is such a cool idea I think it's neat that they do that I don't know if they're just testing them or if they actually do it for the kids or <laughs> just what but it is a very neat thing to do and the kids look like they have a lot of fun So we're just going to make sure that we get these shadows in right so that it looks rounded and then move, just keep moving down until we get it all put together. And see how this turns out. I, I bet several of you were like, fire hydrant? <laughs> Why are we drawing fire hydrants? To be perfectly honest, when uh, Chantel of Darkest Raven Designs and I were coming up with the uh, prompt list, my brain, she would come up with 50, what is it, 50, we had to have 53 prompts. So one of us had to come up with 25 and the other one had to come up with, what, 26 or something like that. Anyway, um, and I'm just blurting out words. <laughs> And you can tell which ones were mine. This was definitely one of them. <laughs> when I said fire hydrants, Chantel was kind of like, pardon? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, it just came to my head. So let's see how 
will I do with this? <laughs> I'm gonna try and do as a as much of a photorealistic as possible. Now you can well this one anyway. And we'll see what comes out of this. But uh, you can draw any, anything you like when it comes to this, when it comes to fire hazards. You want to do a cartoony with a dog peeing on one or whatever, that's entirely up to you. I'm just, I am literally just winging it here. <laughs> Poor Lori. <laughs> who is not used to um, this type of thing at all. She, uh, she told me she struggled with hers. So I'm curious how her video is gonna turn out. <laughs> I'm really curious. So make sure you go and watch hers too, cause it's gonna, she says it's comedy. <laughs> So I cannot wait to go see it. So let's see. It comes down even further. These suckers are tall. I had, I mean, I've seen them in real life. Actually, <laughs> back in, oh my gosh, it's been years. Um, my first ex-husband was in the Coast Guard and a friend of ours stole my car and wrecked it on base and wrapped it around a fire hydrant. Maybe that's where I got the idea. <laughs> I don't know why I don't use this pencil more, it's so nice. Yeah, the Coast Guard was a little perturbed. And they uh, were not happy when this whole thing cracked off under the pressure of my, my stolen car. <sighs> it was a nightmare. They were not happy people. Washed out the whole road. Hold my car. The engine ended up in the front seat of the car. It was not pretty. The person who stole it wasn't hurt, thankfully. Which, you know, I was very happy about that. I would have been even more upset if she had actually gotten hurt. But she didn't, which was good. Let's see. And then this comes off at the bottom. And then there's a bottom part. This is what gets bolted down to the concrete because it's got bolt holes like that. So 
This looks pretty good, actually. Hey, looky there, fire hydrant. That looks awesome. Let's uh, let's do a, a f just a few more. I wanted to show one that had water coming out of it. And I think that would be pretty cool. So let's scoot this over and we'll draw that one. And when I was looking all these up, I actually found um, a thing online that actually described how one worked. And I thought that was kind of interesting. Because it's not as simple as you'd think. They're actually pretty complex, the interior of them, with all their valves and everything, it's quite interesting. And this one, you see how this one was up? This one here has them up like this, they're, they're more f almost like flower petals. How we can get if we can get this right if we can get this right this would be awesome because I really want to show one that has water you know spewing out of it I think it'd be cool so this comes around I hope everybody's drawn along with me and Lori. And if you haven't had a chance to go check out Lori, please do. She is um, my, uh, it's basically like a sister channel. And she is, she lives in Australia. And she's a fantastic artist. She uh, works primarily in oils, but I talked her into doing this with me. <laughs> poor thing and uh, she's she's an awesome artist she really is so make sure you go check out her draw some video as well because like I said it's supposed to be a humdinger Okay, well that wasn't where I wanted it. It's okay. We can fix it. We are artists. And that's what we do. We screw something up, we just redraw it and fix it.
<laughs> oh, these are fun to draw. And they have all, like I said, there's just all types. I'm getting way into uh, drawing these for some reason. <laughs> But yeah, they're they're definitely fun to do. I mean, it's drawing from life. If you draw one of these once, you will be able to do it again and again. Because it is It's like drawing anything else. You gotta look at its proportions, you gotta look at the shading and the shadows. And you know, try and get those dimensions right and everything else. So it's it's just like drawing anything else. You may have been thinking to yourself, I don't know if I want to draw a fire hydrant. Give it a shot. You never know. You'd be surprised how many people have painted on these and done all types of drawings and everything. They're very interesting pieces of extremely heavy iron. It's like cast iron. The way that they uh, they make them, they're super super heavy. This has a chain. And it goes to a big... thing down here. Right near the... almost to the base. So that people can't take these these off and uh, play around with the fire hydrants. Get free water and all that kind of stuff. No filling your swimming pools, folks. Not without permission from the fire department. Because that's their job. We used to get the fire department to come and fill our swimming pools when I was a kid. And back in the day, back when I was younger, they would come out and do it for you for free. And now, they charge you to come out and do it. Which, I mean, they gotta make their money somehow, I guess.
Now I remember why I didn't use this. It goes through lead very quickly. <laughs> I really hope you guys are following along with this. We've been having such a great time on this show. It's, I, I've just been having too much fun with it. And uh, yeah, we are gonna keep doing this. We've got, we're on what, week 11 now? And we are gonna be doing this to the end of September, or December. Did I say September? Why did I say September? December. All 52 weeks this year. So that every week we're gonna have a different prompt. You're new to new to coming around here. This is what we do every Tuesday. And if you want to follow along, please do. And make sure that you uh, tag me and Lori at the Lori Files on Instagram. With the hashtag Drossom Squad. And we will try to get you featured your artwork on next week's video. Look at that. It's almost a complete illustration. Look at that. That is a pretty darn good looking fire hydrant. If I do say so myself. These threads put in here. So there we go. Fire hydrants. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed me what, watching me draw these. They're quite interesting. And like I said, getting that shading, you know, I don't know why I always put my shadows on the left. I just always do. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to get these, um, the shadows just right. Here, I forgot some. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So there, and I I had fun with this. This was this was a lot more fun to do than just plain old everyday stuff. And I hope you all did follow along with me. And like I said, if you want to get featured in next week's video, throw your artwork up on Instagram and tag me and Lori at the Lori Files with the hashtag Drawsome Squad, and we will. Check out your art and you will get featured like uh, these people. So until next week, I really do love y'all bunches. See you later. Bye.